Hey guys, I am about to go into Aldi. I'm gonna do a grocery haul today. So I'm gonna get some of my groceries from Aldi and I'm going to get some of them from Walmart just to try to save on money. Kinsley, mm -hmm. are you ready to go shopping? Mm -hmm. You are? You ready to go? Okay, <laughs> yeah. let's go. We're going that way. Yep. Doesn't like it. It's too heavy. It's not too heavy. It's too sauce. It's okay that it is that broke. What happened? The rolling is uh, don't you don't worry, mommy. I won't worry. She's talking about how we buy her like either one of those ninety nine cent balloons or like a push pop for her being good while we were in the grocery store. And we didn't realize that when it fell on the floor, it broke, huh? Yeah. Did it break? Yeah. It's okay. Did Daddy go get you a new one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We just got done um, shopping at Walmart, and now we're going to head home. I'm really excited because we bought an air fryer. She's not as excited as I am. <laughs> I've been wanting one for a long time. I was pretty disappointed with the selection that they had here. They only had four to choose from. Mm -hmm. And I almost went with the cheaper one. I only need it to air fry, but then I've also been in that situation where I bought cheaper products before and they don't last as long. So I bought a slightly more expensive one. I had Christmas money to spend. So I think we're gonna use it a lot and it's definitely going to be worth it for sure. What's the matter, Kens? No. I know you want to get out, but you know what? Daddy's going to get you a new pop and we're going to go home, okay? <laughs> okay. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. I'll show you what we got when we get home. Here is my Aldi and Walmart grocery haul. So Aldi is pretty much on this side of the table minus the air fryer, which I'll talk about in a second. The first thing that we got were these mixed greens and the romaine, which will go for a side salad that we have planned for a couple of the meals that I have planned for this week. I bought cilantro. Cilantro I'm going to use for my chicken burrito bowls, which I think I will try to film how I put those together. They end up being zero points, and it's my favorite lunch um, that I've been making so far for work. Got a thing of peppers. The peppers are going... Ooh, don't... I have to fix that nail. Um, the peppers are going to be for stuffed peppers, which I'll probably only need two of these, and then the third one can go toward like a random salad. I have a thing of asparagus, which is going to go with haddock, and then maybe something else that I can't remember right now, but this asparagus looked really, really good. It's January in New York, so produce doesn't always look the best here. I have two bags of rice cauliflower. I plan on using one for stuffed peppers and then the other one for my chicken burrito bowls. Aldi had these Campbell's chunky chicken noodle soups there. Uh, Chris really likes those, so he grabbed two of those. I bought a thing of haddock, and the haddock there is really good. Like, I've tried the kind from Walmart before, and I don't know what the difference is, but the kind from Aldi is my favorite. I got eggs. This was an impulse buy, all three, actually the turkey too, but these three specifically were kind of impulse buys. This I saw on Instagram the other day. Someone had said that um, it tastes really similar to what you would get on the salads at Japanese steakhouses. So I think when I scanned this, two tablespoons is two points. So I'm planning on having a side salad along with these spicy crab rolls and the crab rangoons. That'll be a little more point heavy. Like I didn't scan 
these, but I know that if I eat a couple of these, some of these, it'll add up, but that's okay. I will plan accordingly. And then we have a pack of provolone cheese. This is for like sandwiches, but also to go in our side and a pasta salad that we're going to have with the stuffed peppers. Deli sliced oven roasted turkey, basically. It's a half pound, which is about all we ever buy at a time. Italian meats are for either Chris during lunchtime, but planned on using them in our anapasta salad that we'll be making. Milk is mostly for Chris and Kinsley. I don't drink a lot of milk anymore because it has points in it and I don't want to drink my points unless it's like really worth it, like coffee or <clears throat> alcohol. The chicken is the last thing I got from Aldi. So this was $1.49 a pound and it ends up being like four and three quarter pounds for $7. So this chicken will be used for a couple of the meals we have this week. It'll be used for my meal prep. So that's it for Aldi. Walmart, I only needed a few things. So I like to buy a small amount of onions and potatoes. I'm on the blue plan and potatoes count as points. I don't wanna buy a huge bag of potatoes because I know we won't use them before they go bad. So I got three russet potatoes. I got one onion because in Aldi, they always come in a three pack. And again, I don't, just don't think I'm going to use them all before they go bad. I got matchstick carrots. These will go in like random salads that we have, but I also wanted them to go in the salad that I will make with the ginger dressing. Bananas are for me and Kinsley. Canadian bacon. So I'm also planning on meal prepping breakfast sandwiches for this week. I don't remember how many bagel thins I have in the freezer. It's at least like three or four, I think. So I'll be able to make breakfast sandwiches with these. I think the serving size is three. Yep, but I'm only gonna put one on my sandwich probably, maybe two. I know one of these is zero points, I think. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure it's zero points. Extra lean ground beef, so 96.4. It's pretty low in points. It's a good alternative to ground turkey, which we got pretty sick of when I started Weight Watchers again. I think Chris just really wanted red meat. So I got light cream cheese. I only needed one block. They didn't have just one block. So I'll find a way to use this up. I'm not sure if cream cheese freezes well. So if anybody knows, leave me a comment below. One of the meals I was thinking of making, it was kind of last minute, was buffalo chicken pasta, which I keep seeing all over Instagram. So it makes me really want it. The roasted red bell peppers are for the antipasta salads. Chris really likes this antipasta salad that he buys from a gas station that's local. I had to ask him the other day, are the red peppers hard and like raw? Like did they cut them or are they floppy? So I went and found the container that it came in and they were flop. This has a really weird way to describe red peppers, but they were floppy, which means they were jarred. So I wanted to get those because I think they would be a lot better in an antipasta salad than raw. You could do raw, but I just think that would be better overall. We've bought the Smart Food bag before, but I had never seen the Smart Food 50 before. So when I scanned it, I think it said like over three cups was four points or something like that. So this I feel like is going to be really good. I hope. I know when things are less calories, that doesn't always equal out to being tasty. So we'll find out. And if it is good, Chris can't have any. He can have these. He can have the uh, Lay's potato chips. We were both really craving these. Like I'm probably only going to have a handful of those. Uh, Chris will eat them and Kinsley will eat them too. And then ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba, Ninja Air Fryer. I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with what brand of air fryer I wanted. I've known for a while that I've wanted an air fryer. I never knew like which brand I wanted. I would go on Amazon. There's just so many air fryers right now that it's really hard to hone in on which one to get. This one had a couple additional features that I thought would be interesting to use. Probably wouldn't use them all the time. So like there's a dehydrate feature and I don't think I would use that a lot, maybe for jerky. There's a roast option which I do have a turkey breast down in our deep freezer that I thought would be cool to try and make in here. The air fry feature I know is gonna get used all the time. Reheat, mm, maybe for pizza for me, Chris likes cold pizza, so I don't know how often we'll use that feature. But I just thought, you know, it holds a lot. I think this is a four quart, yeah, a four quart. Hello. Hello, YouTube. It's a four quart capacity, which might be 
more than what we need as a family of three, but I'm really excited. Chris and I have talked about like all the things that we make and how most of them could be made in an air fryer. So um, once I use this for a while, I will give you an update if you want on how it works and um, how much we've liked it. So that's my Walmart Aldi grocery haul. I have a goal usually to spend between $75 and $100 a week on groceries. And I think we we were right around there. Like if you deduct, there were things I didn't show you like diapers and paper plates and deodorant. If you deduct that from the total, we were probably around $100 for groceries, which isn't bad. And this will definitely feed us for the week and into next weekend. That's always a goal of mine is to try to spend the least amount of money on groceries. We weren't always like that, were we, honey? $300 a week. Well, yeah, there it, that wasn't all the time, but there were times that we would go into a local grocery store of ours and we would just be like, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. And it was usually over $200 at least. If you guys have any tips, leave a comment below so I can kind of read those and hone in on um, spending as least as possible, basically. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know that I should keep making more of these and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.